Hi all, so I'm back here um, working on a number of things. You know, I, I tell you, I know I must have about seven or eight book projects in circulation here, but I decided that I thought I would share this one with you guys, um, the process of me making the book because um, so many of you asked me about my fabrics. The last bundle pack that I put out, you know, was I was just, so appreciative of so many of you who just purchased them right up. And um, I'm glad, and I've gotten so many positive feedbacks about how much you love them, how much you love the ebook, how you're working with it. I've even made the ebook an individual offering <clears throat> so that once the bundles were gone, at least, um, you know, the, you know, you could still work with the ebook and what have you. So, um, I was working with my linens. I have a lot, a lot of linens, lots of beautiful linens. A lot of these I've had for 20 years, I know. And then different burlaps and um, here's some more linen. But these linens are just really beautiful linens, nice colors, um, a little bit of, this is the dark blue jean, but I like that because when you think about these little bundle books that I've been creating, <clears throat> These materials have just been working so beautifully in them. And I've been using a lot of my fabrics. I have so much fabric I've collected. That's what even made me start doing the bundles. I use them in my own work. And then some of you ask me about them. And then I'm like, you know what? I really could um, pass these along to new homes because I have so much of it. So this series of bundles are a part of the my Boro bundle series, which is Boro, B-O-R-O, -O, uh, which is that Japanese, you know, st stitches and mending and what have you, which I love that whole concept. And for me, the book is like, uh, I think of that as a Boro bundle, you know what I mean? Or Boro books. You've heard me refer to that before. And they just are, are the same thing to me. You know, they're just these wonderful little bundles of bits and pieces that make up our lives. So this stack, I've used only some of it in this book structure, along with my um, vintage pages of uh, from a, a vintage dictionary. I actually found it in Australia, looking around, and um, it's a thick dictionary. But you, I've used this a lot in my work, and so this bundle will also have a, a downloadable chunk of some of these images, um, they'll be scanned in so you guys can work with them as well um, in your works if you want to make a similar book to mine. And because I'm constantly making books and I'm using fabrics and found ephemera and stuff, I just thought that I would do these themed bundles maybe where um, you can see how I'm working with them. And then, um, you know, you guys could purchase the fabrics or use what you already have. Um, you know, in the images is I'm always, I'm always working with ephemera and stuff in my works. So I thought, well, let me put the ephemera and the bundles together and then you get the whole shebang. And we've already been doing coffee dyeing and tea staining. So we already have a lot of that going and I'm using that back in, uh, in the work as well. So all of this you would probably already have for sure. And if not, um, these bundles are going to be really, really cheap. I'm keeping them like around, 25, 23 to $25. I want them to also have cheap postage because the post office just keeps on going up. This last time they went up 70 cents and um, it's just crazy. I, I think it's crazy to pay for postage like this, but we want things from all, I mean, I pay for postage when I get things from other people and other places that I want, but you know, we want to keep it. I just, just want to keep it as affordable as possible. So I'm trying to keep this so the postage will stay like under $5. I'm trying to keep it like around the three or $4. I'm just telling you guys all of this because I know the first thing that comes in my mind when I hear people sharing things that I want is like, okay, how much is it going to cost and how much is it going to cost to send it? So I'm really working on keeping the packs chunky and, and a lot in them, but keeping them flat too, so that when they can go through the mail more affordably, but still have a lot in them. <clears throat> which is why I do the downloadables of the ephemera. So that's free. It doesn't take up the bulk inside the packaging. And these you can just download as much as you want. So that's the method to my madness here, guys. Just like to share the thoughts behind it all. Um, 
So yeah, so that's what, this, and, and I'll do a proper share of the bundle because those won't be going out until like next week. I'll let you guys know, still put those together, but I wanted to show you, and I wanted to show you the process of the book as I'm going versus when it's finished. So that if you wanted to start working on your own, you could. So this is the cover. It's gonna, I'm, I'm working through the binding, but I'm creating a unique binding that's gonna be sort of a bundle kind of binding. It's gonna be really easy but yet still yummy and old world looking. That's what I'm always striving for. I've been making books for over 30 years. Many of you may know I'm a master book binder. I've taught book binding in the um, printmaking department of many universities, started off at the Corcoran um, um, College of Art and Design. I've also set up the Smithsonian um, book arts department in the resident associate program many years ago. So I'm no newbie to book design and book arts. And I'm always trying to make books that are thematic and maybe have a, a regional style to them. So when I'm going to work and create things, I'm always thinking about the message of the book as well. So I'm also going to share through this little series of work with bundles, I'm gonna bring, I'll also be bringing jelly printing into them. Some of them will be working with jelly prints and the fa and fabrics or ephemera, whatever I'm offering. Um, so this one we're gonna be working on, um, this is uh, the paper that I'm using is basically um, watercolor paper. So I'm using some hand, um, a book, you know how you can get the books with the handmade watercolor paper in it, but any watercolor paper is going to work nicely because it's a nice, you know, it's a nice thick paper and we want that. It's a nice thick paper. And basically what I've done, just using a sewing machine and using straight stitches, I'm really just kind of sewing in a straight stitch. I didn't really want the zigzag and I didn't want to go all over the place. I wanted to keep the book pretty linear. I'll turn it around like this so you can see it. So this is going to be the cover. And the binding, which I'll show you guys, it's going to be on the side. You'll see I'll be able to, um, even if I've already done it, at least it, it'll be easy enough for you to be able to see how I've done it. Um, and so basically what I'm just using is a lot of the bundle linens. And these linens are just really gorgeous. If you see them, they were very expensive linens. And um, I use them in some of my earlier projects um, for I used to uh, design handbags. <laughs> and um, to go along with my jewelry line. And so I bought really nice, and these are really gorgeous, but these were, what I have left, and I figured I'm gonna use them in my books. Um, and so we have a lot, so I'm working with the papers in a lot of different ways. I'm using tea bags, we all have tea bags. And so this is what the pages are looking like. And this is one that I already experimented with the coffee dyeing because that's where this all this whole book is going to look like this, right? So after I've sewn them on and put them all on, then I'm going to go and coffee dye the rest of the pages. And I, and I purposely picked this pink ribbon because I just felt like it was a, a contrast, but yet, this pick, I mean pink thread, I'm sorry, contrast, but I also like the way it stains when it dyes, when with the coffee, it gets that kind of oldie, pinky. You see, I like the way the pink thread coffee stains. So, um, so this is the next page of the book. And also the fabrics are like are staining nicely too. You can see like this is the, um, get a piece here. Even though it was already a tan, this is like the original color. And this is what the coffee. So you can see the difference. So I really like how the, the fabrics are picking up the color as well. <clears throat> so I'm showing you all the pages before their coffee died, and then I'll show you them afterwards. So these are just using all the bits and bobs of the paper. And um, you'll these these exact images will be as a part of the downloadable to go along with the pack. Here are tea bags sewn in there. And like I said, I just did all sort of straight stitching that picks up, um, you know, and just grabbing the bits and pieces. Here, this is another tea bag, bits of that um, burgundy. And this color will be in there too, this brown. 
So I'm just doing a flip so you guys can get an idea of how I've laid it out. So if you want to start working on yours so that when we get to the next part of it, part two will be how we put the book together. It's going to be, it's going to be a, a simple binding, but it's going to be really beautiful. Like, you know, when, you know, um, you share your book with others, it's going to be a really delightful binding. I got a few ideas here, a few things up my sleeve. And this is just that Japanese um, paper. Um, I had some of it, um, but you can find it most places, or you can just use any kind of this type of paper, get it to art supply stores. I don't know how much I have of it. I don't think I have enough left to actually put some of the packs. If I do have enough, I'll at least put, try to put one strip in each of the packs. And I think I'm only, I only have like maybe, I don't even think I have 20 of these packs. I think I maybe only have 15 or 16 packs. So I'm trying to make 20 so that it, that, that seems like a good number um, for, um, those of you that have bought my packs, I find that normally the first 20 gets snapped up like that. And if I have any extras, then as new people find the video or find my packs, then they'll purchase them. So anyway, so here we are. I love this, this color here. It's gorgeous. But um, so here we are, and, and, and this I decided to sort of sew, because this was a thicker, you know, paper, um, like a, like a, the cotton paper that I like. But I did it so that we have these layers going on in it. So actually they become, become tuck spots. Like we can literally um, tuck, uh, any, you know, I always say this. Any other time I have something laid here, let's just do like, you know, like you literally can take and tuck things right in there and right underneath there. So I sewed it. I used larger pieces so that, you know, it became places just to stick things in the book. So that's just another idea. And then sometimes there, there you know, there's these, there's these columns here where you can actually stick thinner pieces down in them. So these are designed to really be able to build them up and build them up nicely. Here is another spread. This would be the last one in here. Here's another tuck spot. See that? Like you can really stick things in there. And that really looks nice like that too. And then here we are. So what I'm going to do is the next thing to all of this is I'm going to then coffee dye the rest of these pages today. I'm going to do that now. And then I'll show you guys. I'm also probably going to coffee dye a large, long strip of, of um, fabric as well. But I'm working that thing through. So I'll show you guys. And then that is what we're going to use as the binding for this little book. So here is just an example of um, where I'm starting with it. So I wanted to be able to share that with you guys and just do a quick video to show you what the next bundle is going to look like, show you how I'm working with it right now. And if you, you know, so you'll know that it's coming and you'll be looking out for it. And then also to know that, um, that you can, um, start working on the book yourself so that, you know, um, you may already have these things and have pieces of paper and, um, dyed, tea bags and all these kind of things that you can just start working on this right now if you like the idea and then hang around and let's just see how we're going to bind it. So, yeah. So I wanted to show you that. Let me see. Is there anything else um, right now? I do have another jelly printing um, video that I'm going to, I'm going to share with you guys here on YouTube. Um, I was playing around with some inks and just and a, and a technique and boy, I really, 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 really like the way it came out. So um, the papers, let me see if I can get my hands on this. So I can show you. It was really simple, but they really are gorgeous. I don't know what I do with them. I'm always putting stuff someplace and then I start my video. Uh, I'm going to have to show you all. I'm going to show you the technique though. Cause it's really cool and it's using some of the, um, 
the inks. And you, you know what? You may have already seen it. Who knows? Somebody's probably already doing it. I don't even have enough time to look at the videos over on YouTube, especially um, like the jelly printing. I, because I'm like so busy creating these videos and you know, most of you guys know that not only do I have Patreon, but I have a studio school and I'm creating a lot of um, really neat videos and stuff over there. And the video, I mean, I'm, I'm doing segments and they're only like $25. I mean, I'm, and there's like a lot of them right now. My art mythos for, for the, each segment that is $25, there's like 12, at least 12 videos in each of those, along with written material lists and journal prompts. And a lot of that is showing my everyday techniques of jelly printing and book construction and things like that. So I put a lot in that over there. I keep it really, really cheap and affordable. And so many of you have gone over there and started on that journey with me. And I can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you for enjoying what I'm doing and just hanging out in my studio with me through these processes. So um, I'm doing a lot, but I try to share as much as I can also um, over here because this is where we all first met and um, for so many of us have met here. Some of you uh, found me on Instagram, but so not to prolong this video, um, I just wanted to come to you really quickly and show you this because I'm getting ready to go right now and start dyeing these pages. So um, when, I, when I'm done, I might put just another quick little video up, another five or six minute video to show you the pages once they're dry so that you can see the process, but I don't have to do all this editing and splicing together and all that because that just takes way too much time. So I hope you guys don't mind that and you're, you know, cool with coming along on uh, this ride with me. All right, take care. If you want to keep up with what I'm doing, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And also, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up on the video because that gives me the feedback as well. And also, as you guys always do, continue to comment, share ideas with me, share with me things that you're interested in. Um, and because I always respond, I always, always respond to those comments. And if I miss one, it's only because some kind of way it got missed in the feed. And if I'm in a hurry, I still always just even put a little heart so you guys know that I saw it and that I appreciate your comments. Alrighty, so take care and I'll be back soon with the next part of this little book. Bye-bye.